One thing I need to um, tell you guys is that sometimes um, in a redox reaction or when people are talking about the process of oxidation or reduction, they use um, different language. Um, instead of sometimes saying, oh, um, that particular species undergoes oxidation, rather it's called um, the reducing agent or, oh, that species undergoes reduction is caused the, called the oxidizing agent. And so we have different terms um, to, depending on, you know, the context and whatnot. So I need to point out to you these terms. Um, oxidizing agent is the species that causes oxidation. Therefore, <clears throat> it's the species that undergoes reduction. And the reducing agent is the species that causes reduction. Therefore, if it's causing something else to be reduced, it must be providing the electrons. So it is the species that's undergoing um, oxidation. So I, I just want to uh, go over this with you briefly. Um, you should be able to identify the oxidizing and reducing agents in this particular um, example. So of course, the first thing you need to do <clears throat> is you need to identify, is it a redox reaction? And if it is a redox reaction, um, you know, what, <clears throat> what is undergoing oxidation was undergoing reduction. And from there, you can identify what is the oxidizing agent and what is the reducing agent. So here we go. First, you're just going to um, uh, label um, all of the oxidation numbers across the, um, across the, uh, the reaction. Of course, hydrogen is always plus one, so I can just go through and take care of that all the way across, plus one. Oxygen is always minus two, so I can go ahead and put that in, minus two. Um, <clears throat> minus two <clears throat> for each oxygen atom in that compound. Now that just leaves me with the sulfur, apparently. And in this particular <clears throat> case, the um, hydrogen, there's two of them, so that's a plus two, so the sulfur must have a minus two oxidation state. In this case, the oxygen is minus two, there's two of them, so the sulfur must have a plus four oxidation state. In this case, it's just elemental sulfur, and so therefore it's just zero. And so what you see here is that the hydrogens and oxygens don't change, and on this side, um, we have a total of three sulfur. Two of them have a minus two oxidation state, and one of them has a plus four oxidation state. And over here, we have three sulfurs. All three of them have a zero oxidation state. So um, this sulfur is changing into two of those sulfurs, and this sulfur is changing into the other sulfur <clears throat> to make a total of three. So the product is the same for both what we would call the oxidation and the reduction. Um, they're both <clears throat> changing into elemental sulfur. So which is the oxidation, which is undergoing oxidation, um, hydrogen sulfide or sulfur dioxide? And in this case, um, the sulfur is going from a minus 2 to a 0. That means it must be losing electrons. So if it loses electrons, then we know it's undergoing oxidation. <clears throat> and in this case, the sulfur is going from a plus 2 to a 0. Because remember, we have a total of three sulfurs over here, really three sulfurs. Um, and the two from here are undergoing oxidation, and then the one from here is gaining, because it's going from a plus four down to a zero, so that's a gain of electrons, so that's undergoing reduction, okay? And so then the question is, uh, which, you know, identify the oxidizing and reducing agents. So whatever's undergoing oxidation must be the reducing agent, because it's allowing reduction to occur, okay? It's the agent of change, so it's, it's, it's providing electrons such that um, reduction can occur, so it's the reducing agent. And then the sulfur dioxide must be the oxidizing agent because it is accepting electrons and allowing something else to undergo oxidation. So it's the oxidizing agent. All right, so that's just a little FYI. Um, the terms, sometimes it depends on the context. Something will be said, it'll be said, um, this hydrogen sulfide is undergoing oxidation, or sometimes it'll say uh, hydrogen sulfide is acting as a reducing agent. Either one, you need to be able to go back and forth between the two uh, words. Okay.